So, what are you guys are looking at right now? I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. I think it's really interesting and cool. Uh, I'm kind of sad it's only on one side of the world. But it looks like Valve is releasing a new Steam controller. But they're not the ones making it. This is Beanie Thuggish. You guys know, if you've ever been to this channel, YouTube or Twitch, I'm a big fan of specialty controllers, mainly arcade sticks. I look at Loverless every now and then. I also like controllers with macros, with back paddles, right? Uh, pro controllers, as they were. It looks as if Steam is releasing a new pro controller or Steam controller. This isn't called the Steam controller 2, but it is something similar. But they're not the ones making it. It's being licensed specifically for the other side of the world, over in Japan land, it's being licensed and designed by Hori. Now, if I'm looking at this controller properly, Hori already has a controller like this. I think Hori already has a controller that looks like this. And I can't remember the name of it. Here it is. It's the Hori Nintendo Switch Pad Plus. Here it is. Does this look familiar? Right, it has two macro buttons, and I want to show you some of the similarities. It has gyro. The reason why it has gyro is because, you know, Nintendo Switch uses gyro. Let's go ahead and look at this. Um, I forgot the name of it, so I'm glad it showed it here. Um, let's go ahead and look at this Hori Steam Controller. The Hori Steam Controller is, uh, unfortunately, it looks like only going to be released for a hollow pad. Wireless holly pad for Steam. Looks like it's already been released, or it's going to be released uh, in October. But it's only going to be released, if I'm not mistaken, in the Eastern markets. This is not made for us. Hopefully, we still get it. That would be really cool. Uh, looks like it's sitting around 80 bucks or something, right? Seems reasonable, especially for a pro controller. Let's look at its features. I don't know Japanese. I don't know. I don't remember, like the song said. Here it is in comparison to like a keyboard and mouse, right? You can see the size of it. it looks relatively healthy size. Like it looks like a like full featured controller, full hand size. Those bumpers, I'm sorry, those buttons look very chunky. Very chunky buttons. Off axis, um, off axis thumbsticks. Yeah, not not PlayStation layout, Xbox layout, and then a standard four. Cross D-pad, not the disc style that comes on newer Xbox controllers. If I can show you guys, not the disc plate style, the just the the, the standard D-pad. Kind of cool. Like I think this is the Hori D-pad. Hori loves this D-pad. I believe they use it even on their Hori Fighting Commanders. It's a Hori Fighting. Commander. At least their older one. Their new one, they might not use that. Yeah, they use the disc. But on their older one, here we go. Their older one, they use that D-pad. They're a big fan of that style of d-pad here it is right here on their fighting game controllers that's what they use right they don't use the sega saturn style d-pad as it were as people call it no i don't know i don't fucking know names i should have left that tab open so we could look at some of the features of it but here we go right it looks like it has gyro it's showing you that you can move the controller left and right up and down basically that's what this one means here i believe that's for gyro right St gyro for steam which is good because i don't think a lot of controllers support gyro and it's a really cool feature even if um, it doesn't always work out well, some games it doesn't seem to be that popular. Uh, it's not like a style of, it's not a style of control that a lot of game developers think about. Uh, it has the original two macro buttons that exist on the back of the Nintendo Switch version of this control. And then they added two more, M1 and M2, down at the bottom for a total of four macro buttons. Nice, very cool. And then of course, we have, uh, I believe these are micro switch buttons is why it's showing you specifically the button. Like these are micro switch buttons. I uh, hear the steam input button. I don't know what this means. Probably saying that these are hall effect joysticks. My guess is that it's saying these are hall effect joysticks. And then here's all your steam input menu buttons. Very cool. And there's also an app or there's going to be an app. Okay. But unfortunately, I don't know Japanese, so I'm not entirely sure what some of these things mean but uh i i'm very happy i'm glad we're getting something new or maybe not we if the world is getting something new i might have to get one of these imported when they come out so i can try it out for the channel uh see if it's any good for fighting games and all the other types of games that i play and see how effective that gyro is in games that support it and i hope that gyro is not native to steam input right and it works or 
rather it can be used through Steam's dynamic input to work on other platforms as well, right? It would be cool to see that gyro working on a game like Fortnite or a game like Apex Legends or Call of Duty, uh, knowing that you can use it outside, like on like Battle.net or use it in Epic Games because of the fact that you're using controllers, Steam's controller input to translate that. That'd be really cool. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is showing signs of a Steam Deck 2 coming out anytime soon. But I do think that means that they're fully on board in supporting the Steam ecosystem and Steam Deck more, which I think is really cool. Tell me how you guys feel about this controller down in the comment section down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you didn't know this existed and I just showed you some sick shit that you didn't know about. I can try to show you guys more sick shit you guys don't know about if you know, you're not in the loop of new products and devices coming out all over the world. I like to keep track of these things and talk about them for YouTube. Sometimes I fucking forget to because I just like playing video games. I'm a big time gamer. Anyways, I'm not a big time YouTuber. This has been Beanie Thuggish. For the YouTubes talking about Steam's new controller, only in Eastern markets so far, signing out and saying peace.